Happy Friday! Today our story is going to be a book about colors. Um, I know we've been talking about clothes and our stories have both been about hats, which is something that we wear. This is a story, it's not about clothes, but it is about colors and our clothes are different colors. Um, sometimes we wear a red shirt, sometimes we wear a blue shirt, sometimes you wear a sweater that has a lot of colors like Miss Hamilton's does today. So our story is about colors. At the top I see the title, it says colors, and then it says colores in Spanish. Uh, before I read the story, I wanna talk about the parts of the book. What we are looking at right now is called the cover of the book. If I turn it around, can you guess what I'm looking at? Yeah, it's the back of the book. This part of the book is called the spine. The spine is what holds the book together. And in between the cover and the back are all of the pages. We have to be very careful when we turn the pages because the pages are made of paper and we could tear it if we're not gentle. This book is written by Jorge Luhan and Pierre Grobler. Rocked by the tide, Beige fell asleep on the sand. Can you see the beige or the tan color of the sand? Blue, it's all in the sky except for those flowers and that little girl's eyes. Maybe you can look around your house or your room or wherever you may be today while you're listening to the story. And when Miss Hamilton says a color, you can look for that color around you. This color is blue. I have a blue pocket chart behind me. The color pink, bright as a little girl's nose, makes everything smell like a rose. Did you catch that? Nose, rose? They rhyme. Do you see all the pink things in this picture? Oh, I wonder what this color is. Yellow rolls through the sky like a warm gold coin. A coin is money. Coins are round. The sun is yellow. The sun is round like a coin. Into a tiny seed fits clover, fits a tree, fits the whole jungle, fits green. Orange, little son of the orchard, an orchard is uh, where trees grow, a group of trees, fruit trees usually, or mm, some kind of tree that grows food that we eat. We call it an orchard. They will say, I ate you, and it's true. Do you see the tree that has the oranges on it? What other trees do you see? Burning spark lands on the elm. An elm is a kind of tree. Who's singing? Red. Oh, you guys know how to spell red? Do you remember? R-E-D, red. Do you see the word right here? R-E-D, red. Oh, I wonder what I'm going to read about on this page. What colors do you see? Brown, a coconut floating down, a rock far from town, where an antelope is watching. So here's the coconut. Um, I think this is the rock. And the antelope is standing on top of the rock, watching. I wonder what he's watching. What do you think? I saw a lake. I saw a flower. 
I saw the twilight. Violet. Violet is another word for purple. Do you see the purple? Do you see the lake in the middle? Night has put on her black gown so the eyes of the universe can shine more brightly. Oh, it's nighttime. What do you think the eyes of the universe are? It says they can shine brightly. What do we see at night that shines brightly? Yeah, stars. Do you think the stars maybe are the eyes of the universe watching us from the sky? Maybe so. The moon opens and closes her fan so slowly. White. Almost white. Do you see the moon? Sometimes the moon looks like a crescent. Sometimes the moon looks like a full circle. That's the end of our book about colors. I hope you enjoyed it. Today, after you listen to the story, I want you to get a piece of paper and I want you to think about what your favorite color is. And I want you to draw something on your paper that has, that's your favorite color. So if your favorite color is blue and you have a shirt that you like to wear that's blue, you could draw a picture of your blue shirt. If your favorite color is green, maybe you want to draw the green grass or the green trees that you see outside. Or maybe you have something else that's green that you like. Think about your favorite color and draw a picture of something that is your favorite color. And I will see you guys next time.